G'day retro gamers and uh, Sega Dreamcast enthusiasts, today is going to be a fairly short video about uh, sort of my thoughts and opinions on the sort of newish uh, Dreamcast mod software open menu. So for those of you who are fairly unfamiliar with um, this whole Dreamcast modding scene, uh, for a while now there has been a device called a GDMU which basically replaces your Dreamcast disk drive with an SD card slot, in fact I can show you right now. I don't know if you can see uh, in my Dreamcast there, instead of the um, disk drive, there is an SD card slot. And so what that lets you do is basically load up a bunch of uh, Dreamcast disk images to be played directly off the SD card rather than having to use a, like an actual game disk to, to load it. Now I will say if you can, it is 100% better to rip your own Dreamcast games, but I know that uh, especially for people like me, people who perhaps didn't grow up with the Dreamcast, have, have games from back in the day when they were new, or uh, the price of Dreamcast games is sort of inflated to where now they're largely unattainable. This is, this is a good option, you know. That being said, I got my Dreamcast about a couple years ago now, and as soon as I got it, I replaced the GD-ROM drive with the uh, GDMU. And uh, back then, the only software that was available for the GDMU was a uh, sort of a list style uh, software called GD Menu, which basically just put all your games uh, in some massive list that scrolled forever. Um, metadata was there, but it was largely like unavailable to see. Things like descriptions, year of release, that kind of stuff. Um, but what Open Menu is is basically just like a, a nice updated version of this. Uh, Open Menu was released, uh, I guess, closer to the start of this year, um, and adds a bunch of new quality of life features, like being able to view descriptions, have multiple different themes available. Um, have multiple different ways of viewing your games in a list, like I'll show you later, but there's one that has them all listed in a big line with the box arts, there's one that shows them in a, a grid type uh, layout, like a 3 by grid layout that scrolls down, um, and then you can also use like the old scrolling type menu that the uh, GD menu had. So with Black Friday deals just being over, I decided to pick myself up uh, a new SD card, a 256GB SD card, which was an upgrade from the previous 128GB SD card that I had in my Dreamcast before. And I thought, well, this is um, with this new expansion of storage, perfect opportunity to switch my old GD menu SD card to the new and improved open menu SD card. And I thought I'd show you guys uh, what I did there uh, what open menu sort of is and what I think about it. So here we are in the uh, default open menu layout. You can see I have my games um, all lined up here. They all show their box art. Um, I believe it's a uh, 256 by 256 resolution uh, image for the box art. Uh, shows the title of the game. You can see this one's Arrow Wings and uh, short description. Um, how many players the game uh, supports, how many blocks of memory it takes on a VMU to hold a save, and uh, various accessories that each game is compatible with. If you see, I can go to, say, Alien Front Online has different information there. So uh, this is the default layout. This is the, I believe, the line description layout. And I'll show you in a second um, that there are a couple different layouts that you can use. So... If you click the start button on your controller, you can see that you have a few different options here. Uh, first one I want to get through quickly is aspect ratio. You can change this from 4x3 to 16 by 9 So if I apply that, you can see the uh, screen got a bit squished, um, which obviously when stretched out to a 16x9 image, it would look normal. So I'll just change that back quickly. Uh, so first things first, themes. Here you can see it has the NTC, NTSC U theme currently applied, but I can change that to say NTSC J theme. Apply that. And here we have a new theme based on, I guess, Japanese uh, Dreamcast consoles. And there's a couple more. Uh, PAL, Black, Honey, Seha. I don't 
don't know what that is. I believe it's like these like anime characters created for this software. Yeah, it is. Uh, never used this one. Can't read the descriptions because for some reason the text is white on a white background. A bit puzzling. Um, also, this honey one, I'd recommend you to avoid that one because it's like this awful red text on a fairly generic background. But the other, the rest of them, I fairly like. But I'm going to stick with the NTSCU theme, I reckon. Um, next up, style. So, as I said, this is the line a description layout for uh, Open Menu, where it sort of shows all your games in a line uh, with their box arts, and then a larger version description, all that metadata underneath. Whereas the Grid 3 um, style sort of puts all your games in this 3x3 grid that scrolls downwards and you can see uh, it's a lot faster to get through the game scrolling this way. If you don't care for things like descriptions and metadata display, this is 100% the way to go because it just makes things so much quicker, snappier. Um, and if you hold down the X button, you get an expanded view of the box art. So you can see here with the PAL version of Jet Set Radio, full box art takes up the entire screen. Finally, there is the scroll type. So people who are familiar with GD Menu, the previous um, GDMU software, will most likely recognize this screen. But there's a couple extra sort of tidbits on the side there, metadata things that weren't in GD Menu, and obviously instead of the disc art showing, it's the box art of the games. Um, but this uh, style also re received a few new additions. It actually got themes of its own. So this is the GD Menu style, but say if we apply the Shenmue style, now it's a Shenmue themed GD menu style um, uh, menu. I think there's a couple more. A Wave. Uh, obviously, uh, for the Atomus Wave, uh, Sammy's own uh, arcade hardware that actually has quite a few ports um, to the Dreamcast. I'll see if I can find one here for you. There. Dolphin Blue, that was an Atomus Wave game that uh, fans had ported to uh, the Dreamcast retroac uh, retro uh, sorry, retroactively. So that is now fully playable on um, Dreamcast hardware. And I believe there's one more. Oh, it's Say Hi again. A little bit more readable, still not fantastic. I guess it's a Dreamcast and a VMU as like waifu-esque caricatures. Cool, um, but I'm going to change this back to line description. This is my favorite. Never in a rush to pick games, so I always like to keep the descriptions around. Beautiful, beautiful layout. Much better than GD Menu, in my opinion. Um, so the beep that is for VMU beep, I think it's when you're selecting a game or an option, it'll make the VMU beep. So I'll leave that off for now. Sort, different... Uh, ways to sort your games by name, by region, by genre. Uh, by default, it's name. That's the way the the Dreamcast, like the software that you use to put the games onto the SD card, that's how it sorts by default. So default sorting should be by name. Filter, same sort of thing, just filters the genres out, shows you what games are part of what genre. And multi-disc, uh, this setting is actually fantastic. So usually with multi-disc games, see Alone in the Dark, on the GD menu, it'd show two Alone in the Dark um, copies because there's two disks, two disk images, so it shows two times. What Open Menu allows you to do is to hide multi disks so it only shows one, and when you click onto it, it lets you pick which disk you'd like to load, which is honestly so fantastic. And obviously, you can save uh, all the settings that you change here to. I believe it takes up two blocks on the VMU, so not much space at all. But yeah, that's Open Menu. So if you do have a GDMU, I highly recommend installing Open Menu over the default GD Menu. And if you have GD Menu, I highly recommend upgrading to Open Menu because just the quality of life features, visual features, just 
make it so much better. Not that hard to set up at all, especially if you have an existing SD card with GD menu on it, there's a super easy way to change that over to open menu. I will link video a video by Daniel uh, Derek, sorry, Pascarella that um, outlines how to do this. That's what I followed to do this. But yeah, that's open menu. Fantastic. But there you have it guys, that was uh, open menu and um, to set the record straight, uh, after having had the Dreamcast and the whole SD card uh, GD-ROM replacement set up going for a while, the Dreamcast is without a doubt my favorite system. I fucking love this system. Just the variety of games, um, the, the aesthetics of it all, it, it really resonated me, with me despite me not being around, like alive, for when the Dreamcast was was on the market. Like so, something about it just just really clicked. Uh, with my upcoming trip to Japan, I'm gonna try pick up uh, a few Dreamcast games to bring home for the collection. A couple that I've had my eyes on would be like Daylight Jet Set Radio, stuff like that. Some of the some of the more iconic games for the system because they're hard to find in Australia for for a good price at least. I also hope to uh, do future videos where I go over some of my favorite Dreamcast games, you know, some some that I, I guess, cherry-picked as, uh, as my favorites. Um, I guess more of a scripted style than what I'm doing here where I'm just sort of riffing to the camera. Uh, so yeah, that'd be fun, so please uh, subscribe and stick around if you want to see something like that. Thanks to all who uh, saw my last video, my first video on the channel. Uh, some pretty good uh, support there, a uh, couple comments at least, so I'm very happy about that. If you could keep uh, supporting the channel in the future, that'd be fantastic. So with all that said and done, thank you again for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment if you had any opinions on the video, I'd love to see them. Uh, and yeah, see you next time.